Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you to part 39 of Let's Play Fire Emblem 4. My jaw is a little bit sore today. I was at the uh, dentist's, and uh, he had to tranquilize my jaw, which is... and it's still kind of kicking in, so... So I'm having a little bit of trouble speaking, so if I sound a little bit weird, it's because of that. Alright. Word spread of the Liberation Army under Imperial Prince Salis, instilling a sense of courage in those still suffering under the Empire's tyrannical rule. As a result, uprisings broke out in almost every corner of the continents. However, many lacked solid leadership and were easily crushed by the Empire. Casualties at the hands of the Imperial troops were enormous. In the Kingdom of Leinster, in the, Tar in the Tracia Peninsula, Quan Son, Prince Leaf, assembled a resistance force with Finn's assistance. But they suffered a crushing defeat before King Bloom's massive army, and found themselves stranded in enemy territory. The Yid Desert was administered by a lopped sectar sectarian named K Kustov from Yid Shrine. I, know how the, I love how the lopped uh, priests have Russian names. Stationed in the oasis town of Darna was Bramzel, a former merchant, and Yabaru, commander of mercenary squad. That reminds me of the Thunder Sword guy. Wasn't his name Jabar or something? Maybe it's his son. Prince Ishtor and the highly revered General Lisa protected Melgen Castle, while Duke Rector's son, King Bloom, was at the capital in Alster, with his niece, a young mage named Tinny. Ah, it's the son of Tildew. Salise was all set to depart Rivog and lead the warriors of Isaac's Liberation Army on a rescue mission to distant Leinster. Each warrior put aside his and her individual concerns as they embraced the new challenge before them. So my voice acting isn't going to be stellar today because of my jaw. Can't really move my mouth a lot, it really hurts. But I really wanted to play Fire Emblem, so... So Leaf is not going to be particularly good, I think, because I never leveled Quan or Ethlen. Actually, I did level Quan a little bit. I th nah, I didn't really. Finn, how are we doing? Have you heard from the advance party? No, I haven't, I'm afraid. No one survived the Ulster raid. Prince Leaf, we've lost our entire fighting force. That can't be! All along, I thought we had a chance here. Grr, I'll take that bloom on myself if I have to. Prince Leaf, calm down. We're not true yet. Levin is sending Sir Salis' Liberation Army our way. We must hold out until they arrive. The Imperial Prince Salis? They say is the son of my father, good friend Sir Sigur, and the Empress Diodora. I must meet him. If we team up, there still may be hope for the oppressed masses. That's right. Besides, if we lost you now, everything would the troops fought for would... Well, let's try that one again. That's right. Besides, if we lost you now, everything the troops fought and died for would be lost too. We should abandon this castle and once go and go find cover west of here, near the church. Yeah, that might just be our only option right now. Alright, we need to hold out as long as we can, at least until Prince Elise arrives. Huh. <laughs> abandon the castle, you say, funny man. I'm gonna slaughter all the enemy troops. Alster. Now what? Why can't you take on that small castle? Are you putting in any effort out there? Yes, sir. However, we're having great difficulties breaking their line of defense. I don't want to hear it. You capture Leinster Castle and you do it now. Isaac's rebel army is going to be here before you know it. Yes, sir. We will carry out our raid immediately, sir. No wonder you can't breach through their defenses when you aren't even mobilizing your troops. Oh. Here they come. The oh, those are the mages. I recognize their sprites as stupid mages Jeanette put in. Oh, heed. It's a large map. Oh, look, it's the son of... Now, daughter of... I don't know, it's a thief. That's all I know. Boy, that place was loaded, just like everyone said. This is the best haul I've had in months. But this isn't the time to be taking in the view. I got to get the move on. I think it's the... Um... Uh-oh. It's Shannon. Hey, hold a second. I don't care about anything except the sword. Now hand it over. Forget it. You think you can just reload off my hard work? The sword wasn't easy to come by. If you want it, you just go try and get it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Asshole. The treasure hall has been raided by thieves. They got the Balmung? Well, what are you doing here? Get after them. But Kustov, shouldn't you be able to stop them in their tracks with your black magic? My book of Fenrir is missing. I have some men looking for it, but it has yet to turn up. Wow, so even the Loptsek priests displace their items from time to time. Misplace, I mean. I see. Well, I take my squad and a few mercenaries to go in pursuit then. 
Kostov, rest assured, we will recover the stolen goods. Well, that's Dark Priests for ya. We're gonna be running a lot this map, I have a feeling. We have this huge desert to cross before we reach Leinster? That's right, and with the Yi Shrine falling under the Lopsex juris jurisdiction, the desert is crawling with Dark Mages who will attack without any provocation. It's no wonder people refer to the Yi Desert as the Desert of Death. That's got to make it tough for travelers. There must be some way to capture Yi Shrine. Hmm, I thought you'd say that. There is a way, but it'll, but it'll w involve some great sacrifices. I'm prepared for that. There's no other way around this, and Shannon's still out there too. Let's just focus on gaining control of Yi. Everything else will start from there. Ah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, listen to that music. I think the music is a little bit too loud, though. So we're going to go and... Normally I'd cut this out, but I'm just so professional today. Let's take it down to 31. This is, Doesn't the emulator look nice? I love it. It's so full of heart. Anyway. Just had to lower the volume a little bit, I feel. Okay, let's take a look at the map. That is one huge ass map. As per Fire Emblems. What the fuck is this guy doing all the way out here? I don't know, Dragon Rider, tra uh, Dragon Rider from Tracia. How cute. Alright, so yeah, this map is pretty huge. As normal. Alright, let's first see what we got here. Wow, we got three different parties to control in this map. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at these guys. This is Leaf. He's the son of Quan and Ethlin. He has continue and critical. And uh, major... He doesn't actually have any major holy blood. That is actually very disappointing. But he doesn't. So uh, he can actually talk to Salise. Leaf starts out incredibly crappy. Uh, but he does promote it to one of the best uh, units in the game. The Master Knights. And we have Finn, the Duke Knight. I do believe he just carries over his stance. Yeah, he does. The only thing that's changed about him is his portraits. So he's pretty boss. Uh, level 23. Nearly capped. So he's like uh, another Jagan, Except that he's not Jagan. Alright. So uh, then we have... Nana! Yeah, that's the, that's the daughter of Ethlin, I think? Is it? No. No, it's not. Hazul. Who is... Who is she the daughter of? Is she... Oh, naturally. She is the daughter of Lakeshis because she has charisma. Charisma Pursuit, Ambush, and Charge. So that is pretty awesome. Prayer Sword, Killer, and the Relieve Staff. That is pretty awesome. Okay. And uh, we're going to check out these guys over here. There's a lot of checking out here. Shannon, the Swordmaster. Pursuit, Continue, and Meteor Sword. He is just overall a really good unit. Just amazing, really. He can talk to Paddy. I think that gives him the Balmung. And then we have Paddy, who is the daughter of... Bridget, yeah. She's the daughter of Bridget. Either Bridget or Aiden. I can't remember. Pursuit, continue. Charge. It has to be... Uh, it has to be Bridget, and I think. Because I do believe she's the daughter of Jamka. I'm not sure, actually. Not sure, but... She does have the killer bow, which I think Jamka and Bridget had. Sleep sword and a life ring. Well, that is actually helpful. Anyway, we got a thief, and I'm gonna try my best not to lose her this time around. This is Kustov, the Dark Bishop. Wow, he's... I can't remember him being this strong. Jormung and a bargain ring. That, uh, that pretty much halves the price from shops. She should give that to a unit that needs a lot of cash. Uh, then we have Shannon. Of course, we already checked him out. So let's check the conversations. Salise and Lakeshis. Actually, gonna talk to Shannon, Delmond to Nana, Oifi to Delmond, Leave to Sleep. Wow, there's a lot of things to do in this game. Holy crap. Because I think we're gonna focus on this part first. I don't remember what's in the villages. Uh, I don't really read up on walkthroughs all that much. So these guys are pretty nasty. I think I need to get away from them. Silver Sword. Ouch! These guys have Dormungus not. I think they are. I think they're st stationary, but can't bet on that. All right. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bait that dark dark mage into attacking me. How much money does he have? He have three thousand gold. So if I position Patty here, I'm just gonna make sure he doesn't kill her. He does thirty-three damage. 
She has 31. Nah, he's actually going to kill her. So that doesn't work. Nah, she's not strong enough to deal with these guys. Holy crap, they're strong. Alright, so I'm going to position her here. That should hopefully be far enough away. Okay. So let's go talk to... Uh, let's go talk to her and get the Balmung. Hey, stop it! Get your hands off me! Look, I'm not going to hurt you. Just return that sword to me. Hmm, what do you mean? Is this the sword yours? Yes, it's been in my family for generations. generation. It's the Divine Balmung. I'm the only one who can use it anyway. There's really no point in you keeping it. Then what was this holy... Thingamajig doing? <laughs> what is that? Then what was this holy Thingamajig doing in Yid? It was taken off my father. He was killed during Isaac's war with Granbel. I just found out recently that it was being kept here, so I came to give it, get it back. Hey, you're not Prince Shannon of Isaac, are you? Yes, I am. What, really? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! I have been an admirer for so long. I always dreamed of meeting you, but I never did I... Ahem. <clears throat> I just can't believe it. I must be dreaming. All right, already. The sword, please. Oh, sorry. Here you are. The Balmung. I finally have you now. This sword has... Oh, wow, the power. This is all too much. Uh-oh. Does he equip it, though? Yes, he does. So, yeah. With the Balmung, Shannon pretty much becomes a killing machine of death. So it gives him plus 10 skill and speed. Uh, I remember it used to give 20 speed or 20 skill in the original, so he did get nerfed a little bit, and it has 30 uses. I do believe it used to have 50. But hey, it all works out. Okay, so she can't get attacked. That's good. How's Shanna's resistance? Not very good. I'm a little bit worried about this Dark Mage. Anyway, uh, now that we've done that, let's go to the castle. This is an immensely long first turn, I am very aware of that. I do believe we can go into the arena now, and I do believe we should do that. Uh, not with too many people, but there's... We have a lot of things to do, so we can't get too injured. But I think what I want to do is I want to send Oifi into the arena, just to check it out, see how difficult it is. So I think I think we'll... Uh, first, first of all, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. We're gonna check the item show. Oh, that's a lot of stuff to buy. Holy crap. A fire sword, a killer sword, a Jormung. Oh my god, that's so much stuff to buy. Oh, how am I gonna get through this? Okay, the killer axe should actually go to, um, to Johalvar so he can actually, uh, so he can actually do a ranged attack. Anyway, it's time to go to the arena. Alright, let's use the sword. Uh, this is a Brigid with an Iron Axe, so... This should go pretty easy. So that, that's a pretty easy guy to fight for sword users. Come on. So, I'm not sending Oif in because I necessarily think he needs the money, but it's always nice to scout out what kind of enemies he'll face, so you know who has a chance and who hasn't. So, Brigid first. Who's the next guy? That's going to be a Mage with a Wind Sword. A Wind... Uh, I think I'll keep my sword, actually. So that might be a little bit challenging for certain uh, guys. As you can see, he had a lot of avoidance, or if he actually missed him. Okay, so Brigan Mage, who's the level third one? It's a Lancer with a Steel Lance, so preferably an Axe user there. I don't think Leaf... I think I'll... Sorry, Leaf, I'm saying. Uh, so Leaf can probably take on the two first guys, but he probably won't be able to beat the Lancer, I think. Whereas Oifi will just murder him. There you go. He's not getting a lot of experience. He might just be able to beat the gauntlets. Uh, okay, who's the next guy? That is going to be a sword fighter with an iron sword. That is going to be tricky to deal with. I think I might even use the javelin. I might, yeah, just to get the weapon triangle advantage, even though the javelin sucks in close combat. Oh yeah, he's, he's pretty tough. Not tough enough though, but pretty tough. The javelin weighs a shit ton, though. Okay. Who's the next guy? Yes, I'd like to fight the next guy. Who's the next guy? He's a Pegasus Knight with a Steel Lance. Okay, well, he switch to the axe. Dun 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 It's the lag time again. Come on. Okay, that's one dead Pegasus Knight. Good job, Wifey. Okay, so 
Who's the next guy? That's going to be a Swordmaster. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. That's actually really bad. Okay, I'm going to use the Javelin. It's probably not a good idea. I think Oifi might lose this one. Mm. Never mind. Oh my god. <laughs> He's actually attacking me four times. He has Continue and Pursuit, most likely. So I don't think anyone is equipped to deal with that Swordmaster, except for Oifi. Maybe. It has to be a Lance user. Maybe Fi. I don't know. And I might be able to make it to the final boss here. Okay, so that's a General with a Silver Lance, I think. So let's switch to the Iron Axe. I haven't gotten any Armor Knights yet. Do I get any Armor Knights in the second generation? I actually can't remember if you do. You do get Hannibal. But he's a general, not an armor knight. Oh, he actually wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. That was not good. Yes, I'm quitting. Um that guy had a steel sword. So I might actually use the javelin. Let's see how it goes. I think I think I'm still injured if I enter the arena like this. Yeah. So, um, okay, never mind. Oifi is awesome. Wow, gotta love his critical. 14% critical. Okay, who's the next guy? That Oh, really? That was the last guy? Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Okay, so we know what kind of enemies to face right now. I th I'm not too keen on arena spamming, but I'm kind of forced to, uh, I feel like. I'm actually... wait a minute. I would like to send someone out who can actually deal with these guys, but they are scary as fuck. So, I'm actually considering send sending Oifi out just to weaken them. If I position him right here, he should be able to take a lot of attacks from them. He's a paladin, so his resistance should be pretty good. Yeah, 9 resistance. And they're dealing... Uh, let's see, 32. So, actually, they will kill him. So, I can only afford to face one of them. So I will do that. I don't think he'll kill them, because they're pretty beef. Famous last words. But they do have 7 defense and 49 hit points. Holy crap, these guys are strong. Uh, I want to kill as many guys with Del or at least hit as many guys with Delmond as possible. I don't think you can use the Thief Sword in the arena. Uh, but I really want to send us at least... At least uh, at least uh, in two rounds into the arena. I'm tempted to give him a fire sword, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Alright, let's take the silver sword. We do have this. We do have a slim sword, which is super effective against cavalry. So that might be worth looking into. Come on, Salise. There you go. The only way to not make him bland is to promote him as quickly as possible, so I'm going to try to get him a lot of experience. Hit points, like, what the fuck, Salise? Are you going to become one of those lords, aren't you? Alright, mage. He might not be able to deal with this. He does have great shield, though. I don't think he's going to be able to deal with this guy. Ah, he might. Okay, he will. Okay, so who was the next guy? That was the Lancer. If I use my Slim Sword, I might be able to kill him. I don't think so, but we could try. This is what I always do. Uh, ah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I do love his critical animations. Those are pretty awesome. I do like them. I like the fact that I made they made him for him. Alright, so he actually did win. That's surprising. Swordfighter. Uh, I'm not even going to try. I think the Swordfighter will just rape him. Well, at least he gained some gold. So that's good. Now he can repair his weapons and we'll head out to fight. So and if you think this is a long first turn, welcome to Fire Emblem 4. This is how the game is played out. Alright, so I'll position Celise right here. Wait a minute, before I do that, I wanna I wanna move my guys as far as possible. But I don't want to uh, I don't want them to be anywhere near those dark mages without being able to handle it. Okay, Lana needs to repair her staff. So, let's go repair... Ugh, so expensive to repair this thing. Luckily, we have a thief now who can give money to the healers. So that is really helpful. Alright, just making sure I'm not doing anything stupid. Okay, who should go into... I really want to send Fee into the arena. 
simply because I hate having a weak Pegasus Knights. She does have a barrier ring, so she should be able to rape the Wind Mage, but I'm a little bit unsure about the Brigand. She does have the Steel Sword against the Brigand, so that should help her out a little bit. Let's see. Ow! 5% hits. She didn't like that one bit. Okay, so next guy is the... Uh, is that the Wind Mage? I think it is. Because I should, I should pick the most accurate weapon then. Let's see, this is the Mage. Uh, let's see, Steel, Slim... Yeah, the Slim Lance, for sure. Wind Mages are pretty hard to hit because of their speed. But yeah, he does one damage to Fee, so... This match cannot be lost unless he hits me 29 times, which I don't think is going to happen. All right, I never really did get to level up Fury a lot. Hit point, speed, and defense, uh, which is why Fury was a really subpar Pegasus Knight. So I'm hoping to rectify that with Fee. Okay, who's this? This is the Lancer. That could actually be really bad. Wait, then the Slim Lance is super effective against the Lancers. I think. Nah, it's not. It's super effective against Armor Knights, that's how it goes. Ah, she might be able to win this with a little luck. Uh, he two-shots her, though. Yeah, that's fine. That is completely fine. Awesome. So she could probably, potentially, get very far in this arena. Uh, so who's the next guy? That is the Sword Fighter. Ugh, this is where things get a little bit hairy. Sword fighters are nasty. Uh, he's not that nasty, though, but... Yeah. She does have prayer, I think. Does she have prayer? I can't remember. Alright. Awesome. Another level up for Fee. Hit points. Did she level two hit points? Speed and luck? I think she did. Speed and luck. Uh, she's getting a lot of Sheeda level ups. Speed and luck. She's becoming a Sheeda. Okay, Pegasus Knight with a Steel... what? Steel Lance, I think. Mm. I also should consider... I might be running out of numbers soon. If you do that a lot... Um, you've seen it happen before. Yeah, this isn't going exactly going well. Yeah, that went to hell. That went absolutely to hell. So, I w don't understand why I sent my healer out first. That was fucking stupid. Okay, so that was really stupid. So I gotta figure out where I want to send Fee. If I want to send her down here... Are there any villagers in danger of being killed? I don't think so. She's actually not that bad against the Dark Mages, though. That should be said. Mm -hmm. She's not bad at all against those Dark Mages. So, if I position her right here, then I can send... I really want to send Julia, just a... Nah, is it even worth it? I could send her one time into the arena, and that is it. Yeah, one time into the arena, that is it. I'm not even going to try sending her... Ah, she might actually kill the Wind Mage, but not the Lancer. Also, this animation takes for fucking ever. This is why I hated sending Gator into the arena, but I still did it a lot. She will double the guy, though. Two-shot him, I mean. Yeah. You know, this is exactly a fun thing to watch, so... Fifteen minutes later, she finally won. She missed, like, seven times in a row. That's why I just decided to skip that. We'll do the Wind Mage, and then we're done arena for today, I think. At least until we capture another castle. Yeah, she'll kick the snots out of this guy. Light magic just owns everything. That is not dark magic. And it fares decently against Dark Mages as well, which is why I think she might actually do well against those guys. She does have 14 fucking resistance. It's insane. Julia, good units. Come on. She, uh, but... I d she does have Pursuit, but that Resire Tome is just so heavy. She's almost never gonna be able to... Come on! 15 minutes later. Alright, I won, here's my prize. I don't think that really covered the costs of the tome, though, because it's expensive as fuck. Ok, 
Okay, so is there any other tomes she can actually get in the item shop? Uh, she can't use dark magic. There is a lightning tome here, though, and it might actually be a little bit better because... Mm, warp staff, I should definitely try to get that. That is pretty insane. Oh, it warps you into any castle. That's how it works in this game. It doesn't warp you anywhere on the map. You can just warp... And I don't think you can warp it to castles you don't control, so... The return staff is really good, though. No, actually, I thought it for function as the rescue staff, but it doesn't. It can still save your ass, though. It can really save your ass. Uh, so I think I might actually invest in that. You know what? Yes, I will. Just the possibility to warp someone away from danger is really good. I'll take that over a lightning tome. And I might actually... Let's see, these guys do 32 damage. She has 14 resistance. So that means... They'll still two-shot her. But if I can get that guy to attack Julia instead of Oifi, I think she can actually take him. Let's see if I do this. <laughs> yeah, I can use my return stab. Alright, so these two sword fighters don't really need to do much. Arthur could potentially do very well in the arena, but I've decided... I don't know. Anyway, uh, I said I was done with arena but I really want to do more arena. <laughs> but no, not, not, not anymore. I'm going to go get the Killer Axe, so I can throw axes at people. And I think it's just time to move out, because I'm afraid I'll run out of numbers soon. And that kind of defeats the point of doing arena in the first place, so... Uh, I think I can place him here. We have uh, Lester. I'm still going to go through the item shops to see if they can buy anything worthwhile. He doesn't really have a lot of cash, though. But he needs to repair his uh, bow. There you go. He could really use a couple of turns in the arena, but I'm not going to... I'm done. I said I was done. Skasha. Ha. Oh, wait a minute. I have a lot of conversations going on here. I should probably do them. So, Salise, Shana, Laksha, Shana, Delmon, Nana. Nana? That's the thief, right? I think so. Uh, so, no one right here. Leaf, Salise, I guess. I can't really speak to anyone here. Uh, Delmond. Let's see. Can he get anything useful from here? He could use a better sword. Does he have critical? I think he does. And if so, the killer sword is kind of wasted on him. No, he doesn't. So I'm actually going to get him the killer sword. Because it's better than what he has, I think. 9 might, 80... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to get him the killer sword. So that's pretty cool. Now he has the thief sword and the killer sword. So let's see what's the difference between these two. It's the same, actually. So I can sell the Iron Sword. It's absolutely the same, just more might. So it's just better. So there's no point in keeping the Iron Sword whatsoever. So let's just sell the Iron Sword to the pawn shop. There you go. Let's move out with Delmond. My god, this is taking a long time. Okay, we should probably center him around those who can get attacked. Sounds like a good idea. Alright. Arthur, can you buy anything useful over here? Might be better a good idea giving him a fire tome, actually. That way he can weapon triangle anyone. Well, except for Dark Mages, which is what he would ironically need in this situation. Does he need to repair his tome? Oh no! The Thunder Tome has taken a use. Better send him out. Not gonna send him anywhere near those Dark Mages, though. And then we have Skashaha. Let's see, what kind of items does he have? I don't think he needs that steel sword, or does he? That fire sword actually would be cool for him. He did buy the light sword, though, so I might just stick that on him. Uh, he can't really get anything else from here, can he? Nope, he cannot. So let's just visit the pawn shop and get that uh, lightning sword out of there. He does actually have the pursuit. No, wait, that's not his. Wait, what am I doing? I'm going to the storage. There you go. Let's go take the light sword. Uh, it's not a great sword. It's not as good as the... Uh, I'm not really sure. What I don't like about the light sword is that it has a very tedious animation, as far as, I'm, uh, as, far as I remember. He doesn't have any magic, does he? Nah, he doesn't, so... It's not going to be great in his hands. Okay, Skasha. I actually want to give her a fire sword, though. Mm, okay, I did say I was done with the arena, but I really want her to afford that fire sword, because... Having her being able to attack into range is actually insane. Besides, she needs a lot of money for that hero sword of hers. Okay, so last arena of uh, this of this part, at least. We're gonna go into the uh, arena with uh, with uh, Laksha. 
I'm not sure if she's going to be able to get 10,000 gold, but I hope so. I think she will beat the entire thing, to be quite honest. Hit points, strength, speed. She is grossly overleveled, actually. Okay. This is a mage. She'll just kick the snot out of him as well. Yeah, he is dead. <laughs> he, he is so dead. Alright, who's the next guy? Yeah, he could potentially do some damage to her, but she'll, she'll just murder him. Yeah. That's what happens. Didn't even need the Meteor Sword proc. The Meteor Sword proc is usually just overkill. Okay, Sword Fighter. Yeah, she'll get 10,000 gold. No fucking problem at all. Pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, did I heal up... Uh... I forgot to heal up uh... Fee, did I? I think I did, actually. That's stupid of me. Yeah. Oh, come on. There you go. Alright, my god. She's gonna become a Swordmaster Shown. Hit points, skill, and strength. I like the fact that she's leveling strength. She got that from her father. Noisha's strength growth is pretty good, so... Uh, that's why I really like the fact that... Uh, that's why I like him as a father, because uh, he gives Lakshya and Skashahal that strength that they really need. Yeah. Hello, Swordmaster. You're not really a master anymore. Yeah, and now she has enough money for uh, the Fire Sword. I, she might struggle a little bit with the general, if he had a lance. But, since he doesn't, never mind. Darkness Sword. Okay. That's fine. Let's go get that Fire Sword. So it's actually similar to the Lightning Sword. Except that the Lightning Sword actually is light magic, so it beats other swords. Probably why it was slightly more expensive. Oh fuck, did I... Yeah, I just rest I just repaired the slim sword, didn't I? Fuck. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, that kinda sucks. Anyway, let's get out of here. Alright, we're not done yet, guys. We still have one more castle to manage. My god, this is the longest turn one ever. Okay, so this is uh, I'm not sure if this is a home castle or not. I don't think it is, so I should probably be able to enter here. Ah, oh, there's nothing to do here, just weapon repair. Might as well, rep might as well repair this. I love this music. Welcome to Lunch City! We have uh, weapon repairs, weapon repairs, and more weapon repairs. Oh, by the way, did I mention that you could check out our amazing weapon repair? City of weapon repair. What an amazing city. Alright, so we should... They mentioned something about going... Going over here now. What, what did they say? East? I suppose we should use the forest for cover. Uh, we have a troubadour right here. Might as well just turn off animations for her immediately. Unless she's going to fight a lot. Uh, might as well try to deal some damage to these guys with Finn. I don't think Leaf can do much here. So let's just equip that amazing silver lance of his. Which has seen not that much use. Huh, what happened to his weapons? Didn't I kill a lot of guys with him? Alright. So let's... Uh, actually, I've got to be a little bit careful here, because, yeah, she can actually get attacked from there. And we don't want that now, do we? We do want to give the Charisma bonus. So let's just... Uh, actually, we'll just keep the animations on for now. He doesn't have anything special. Okay, I think we're finally done with the first turn now, guys. Finally. Alright, and then someone dies. That That's gonna piss me the hell off. Holy crap. Ooh, okay. So here comes the Dark Mages. They are nasty as fuck. My god, that's a lot of Dark Mages. Holy crap. Uh. Okay, never mind. Alright, I have actually turned off animations for her. Which is completely fine, actually. Considering how long that takes. That's actually a really funny animation. Okay. Interesting. I'm very, I'm very happy I turned off animations now. 
The fuck? What 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 went on there? Did she proc charge? Does she even have charge? I don't know, but she owned the shit out of that guy. Hit points, magic, speed, luck, magic defense. Well, she's leveling up like Deodora used to. At least. Wow, these guys are scary. Oh, there's a guy over there as well. Interesting. Ugh, this is not good. Actually. Hey, Shannon. Yeah. He's a beast. But he's not invincible. I'm a little bit worried about him, actually. He's He might actually die to the Dark Mage. He doesn't have any resistance. Balls. The fuck am I... S if he dies, I am seriously going to scream because I have not saved anything. You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. No, 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 no. Thank you, game! I swear, if he had died there, that might have been the biggest rage scream of my Let's Play history. Still, he doesn't exactly look in good shape. Ooh, I love this music. What? Oh! Viver Knights Killing Towns. That's a new one for me. Is that something Shin added in this patch? It might... I can't remember, actually, but that is not nice. Okay, so how the fuck are we gonna get out of this mess? Uh, no matter what I do, those... Actually, no, they won't. Not if I position him right here. Crap, I have nothing... Okay, this is not good. Like, the only chance I have here is to take try to take out this guy, but I can't. Because he actually... He actually one-shots Paddy with 98% chance to hit. God damn it! How the fuck am I supposed to do this? I could sleep him. That is actually a really good idea. I could sleep him. 83% chance to hit. Well, you know what? I think I'll decide in the next episode because uh, this one's been far too long already. Holy crap, Shin. You did... You... Like... You didn't joke around when you said the difficulty was increased because this is getting pretty intense. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the longest turn ever. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.